Good afternoon everybody. I'm just going out for my daily walk. I'm using the GGI 108030 today. I normally take myself for a walk every day being on my own. I do not have a dog so I take myself out for a walk. So Sheepcote Street. Quick update, I was um, at Morrison's yesterday. Couldn't see towards the end of the road but I think it's imminent, the tram's opening, which means the whole of the area from Grand Central will be open. And we can take a tram ride and show you exactly what's going on. So look at this, Sheepcoat Street. One and a half years finished left Lawless and now they have got it organised. Okay. Used to be chaos here for us. And I have a small taxi rank here. They have the larger one at the end of Broad Street. But as you know, people come round here well, every day of the week, to be honest. We've even got traffic wardens over there. Two cars parked there. Oh, one of them's got a, both of them have already got tickets. Look at that, both of them have already got tickets. I can see one on the other one. Gate still left open, nearly four years now. No security for the guys. I noticed Moda have only three apartments. Oh, it's very windy, so this video is not going to be very happy, forgive me. You know, 42 floors. They've got three available at the moment because they haven't, I think they've finished up to the 12th floor inside. So there's another 30 floors to go, would you believe, internally to finish. And then they release them every month. Hampton's over there. So I think. It is very soon. It could actually be open Monday, this road. Duh. There we are. Look. Possibly Monday. Most definitely the following Monday, but I, I've just got a little feeling. It's certainly got to be the following Monday. That would be the 4th of July. Oh, the 4th of July. Doggy here. Hey, hello. What's your name? Hey, okay. uh, isn't he beautiful? Get out the road, Bernard. You forget. Buses okay. come along here. Obviously, as soon as you see those barricades around the tram stop, have two here, and you have two at the end of the road up there. So there's only four, I think. Then we know it will be open. It's about 150, 200 yards from Morrison's. I did a little bit of shopping after my filming yesterday. We are here. Goes through to Brindley Place. Much wider the footpaths now. I can remember walking along here and it, it was hell to be honest with you. Narrow traffic and the noise. And there it's not fully open yet. 
That's another nasty looking building. Fury Inn. I don't think it was originally a jury in, but isn't that awful? Outside? They need to put some fascia boards or some of the camouflage yet. Make it look pleasant. Rather than knock it down, it could then look quite nice. Quick look through here. You've seen all the restaurants at Brindley Place. Icon Italian restaurant, pizza restaurant, Piccolino. I think it's quite expensive. But don't come round here for a lunch because you won't get any peace because of the 39.7 million pound refurbishment Nat West, which goes from Broad Street into Brindley Place. I shut up you will hear what it's like I'm sorry to say would you want to listen to this we have enough of building in almost every part of Birmingham would you want to come for lunch here forgive me restaurants but at night it would be fine. I'm not sure why they haven't got seat in here now. Maybe it was because of Covid but I thought they would keep it out here. It was really lovely but uh, it's been taken away. How naive of them. It looked really wonderful. It was usually very busy. So yes guys, York's here. A lovely building isn't it? Would you want to come here for a nice quiet coffee? <laughs> I don't think so. Been like this for over a year and I would say they've got another year left so be warned. But dinner? Obviously it would be fine. Piccolino is a very good restaurant apparently but it won't be, um, I'm told it's reasonably expensive. You have to be careful walking. I give you a warning, guys. If you're walking around anywhere around Birmingham City, because so much building been going on for many, many, many years, you can easily get run over by cyclists on footpaths. They got so used to riding on footpaths and scooters. I mean, going past you really fast. So be warned if you come to Birmingham City and walking around just be very careful on the footpaths now that a lot of it's opening um, unfortunately they still stay on the footpath nobody here to monitor it I've nearly been hurt many times so be extra careful when you're walking around on anywhere in Birmingham City because foot, you'll get run over by scooters or cyclists I mean I tell them to be quite honest I'm a bit of a stickler I get a lot of bad language but you know I don't care I'm going to tell them they shouldn't be on the footpath several people hundred people in England are injured seriously would you believe and some killed every year in England run over by cyclists isn't that absurd I wouldn't want one of my subscribers to get run over. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't got many, so I need to hold on to you guys. And here you see Black Sabbath Bridge and the wonderful canals in the back of the International Conference Centre. Brindley Place over there. Lots of restaurants, 
which I'll tell you about when we do the walkthrough from Grand Central right up to the end of the trams for you I'll take you through what's happened in the last few years lots of casualties unfortunately along Broad Street because of Covid so this is the long taxi rank you see don't see many taxis here at the moment usually only one or two probably at night it would be full up some more building work going on here of course Solomon Cutler and Jimmy Spices open as usual As you know, we had the dance festival over the weekend. You can see my videos. I think it's all been taken away now. And we can see the progress of the Commonwealth Games shop, ground floor, and the first floor it will be it's the BBC, I think BBC headquarters, the offices, it's not going to be probably the central station, it's not going to be a broadcasting studio. Unusual looking design to be honest, but what would I know? You see? I have the wonderful fountain here, as you know, the dry fountain. But we lost it over a period of almost four months because of the German market and the fair and various other things. And then now we've probably lost it for about three months. We won't get it back till maybe late summer. Commonwealth Games, and then it will take three weeks clear all this again, three to four weeks. That's where the fountain is, where the black mat is. So they put that down to protect the fountain. You can see some of my videos at night. Very beautiful. I think someone said if the shop opens and everything next Monday, but I don't think so. Probably got the wrong information again. <laughs> I'll let you know when it's open and we will film for you. Show you what it's like in the Commonwealth Games shop. Both the BBC offices are on the first floor, one of my viewers told me. Maybe this here, it might be a broadcasting area. We'd have a wonderful view at night. Here, perhaps. We shall see. Nearly half past three. Thursday afternoon. It's quite humid, very cloudy. We've got something else here, some more dance festival things going on, I, I think. Yes, I think that could probably be a broadcasting area. Five weeks today, guys. Five weeks today. Unbelievable, isn't it? As I said at the start of COVID, it was, well, I don't know, it's obviously hundreds, 
if you went back, um, I mean, two years, obviously it was, I'm not sure if it, it was there then, but it, I know it was so showing hundreds. Two years is 730 days, so, and I used to walk out here for my daily exercise when we were allowed to, and it felt like it, it was going on forever. So yes, we had the festival last weekend. I'm not sure if they've got anything here. Perhaps they've just, um, no, they look like um, something else is going on. Perhaps for the weekend. It's a magnificent area now. If you look at old videos, Go on YouTube and have a look at old videos before the uh, Symphony Hall, multi-million pound extension there, and then the Rep Theatre, and all this before the fountain was there, and it was all rather busy and noisy and, and old, and over there. It was a, the extension of Broad Street. The road was so noisy and polluted. It's really magnificent now, the exchange there. And something going to be built there, as you know, I've said it many times. Wasteland, the hotel there. Should be open the end of this year. And this one over here, Copthorpe Hotel. Nasty buildings coming down, but they will be coming in on the road out the back so you wouldn't even notice it and a wonderful park just through here just walk past the library and it's straight in front of you it's not a large park I haven't been there this year because we've had such a nasty summer but it's a beautiful park so just a few yards past the right in front of you worth a visit So I think what we will probably do, because this is my doggy walk, well, I'm the dog, we can go past Paradise, go past Victoria Square. We'd, we'd just say hello to J Floozy, okay guys? Um, I won't bore you with her. We'll just say hello. And then I will take you through a very beautiful area at the mailbox, which um, most of it's closed now, unfortunately, where they have Harvey Nichols. And just along the canal and home. This here on my right will be going away possibly six months or taken away. So it would look really nice here. And this bar opened in January. Albert Slosh. Very busy. Especially weekends. They have live music in there. So look out for that. This is still empty here. This um, Vinoteca coming soon. I'm not sure if it is. It should have been open by now, apparently. I think the sign was there. I think it's been there a very long time. This Thai restaurant here. Roses. The zoom there, Indian restaurant.
Chamberlain Square. This is a very beautiful area. Yes, you see Vinoteca, but it, if you look inside, it's empty. Oh, look at the fountain. It's amazing. Forgive me. We were here the other day. It was about two inches high. Look. <laughs> volume on auto now but you probably noticed when I zoomed in it has a audio zoom the GDI camera I mean the iPhone doesn't but so I like to use it if you zoom in you would have heard the sound of the fountain to the back of um, the town hall there we had scaffolding around the art gallery and the council offices for about a year. That's all gone now. You see the area here in between the town hall and this building. Not sure what they're going to do there. The fountain is off again for some reason hopefully it's not full of bubbles <laughs> they are doing something here now last year they had parasols and tables and chairs here as you know it was wonderful and over here whoops they had tiny little about six food huts but goodness knows what's happening. Oh no, she's on. Sorry, my apologies. After the initial mishap within a few hours, as you know, three weeks off, massive investment, the investment, should I say, a repair bill for this fountain. But she is on. Start your dance journey. Something else going on here. So yes, to say hello and what we are going to do is then now dip over to the mailbox for you and the canals it's a lovely area and finish the video see you soon guys bye bye so I used to have a cappuccino in here before the pandemic but now it's been taken over by this company quite expensive medicine they have a shop in the middle of the high street and they have three pound donuts would you believe let me show you what a three pound donut looks like there you are some cakes here That's a three pound donut. So be warned. <laughs> I did say to him, I've never paid for a three pound donut before. And he said, it has a lot of jam in it. So and this is Harvey Nichols here. Sorry, we had security just behind me. <laughs> so I switched the camera off. They don't usually say anything in here. It depends who's working here. I think it's okay, apart from not going into Harvey Nichols. One is not allowed. So yes, I said, I've never seen a three pound donut before. 
and I'm going to repeat again, he said, well, it has a lot of jam in it. He said, a lot of people say that, but it's full of jam. And I wanted to say, and it wasn't one of those afterthoughts, I wanted to say, well, I'd like to take the jar of jam home with me, please, for that price. So be warned, medicine donuts, three pounds. I always think it's a warning, personally, for a restaurant. That's my view, anyway. If they can charge you three pounds to take a donut away, I'm not going to buy anything there. I'm extremely skeptical. So, Cafe Nero's gone from here. You have Nando's. You have this bar here. And you have this Indico. Um, it's street Indian food. You probably know it's quite busy and I'm told it's very good food. So, and then you come through here and it's a lovely area now. They've got a, like a little grass area here. But unfortunately, most of the shops in the mailbox have gone. So we look back over to the bar here outside. Wonderful seating area. Yes? Oh look, I suppose this is for uh, photographs. And onto the magnificent canals and you do have a little seating area here, look. AC Hotel, they are excellent. Black Sheep Coffee bar. really beautiful here this area we have the Zizi restaurant there Italian restaurant gas street social Looking back on the mailbox. Oh look, they have, I think this is new, seating downstairs. Look at this. The brazier coat or cote. You see? Let's come in for you. more scaffolding over there. <laughs> Churchills did not survive the pandemic unfortunately. It closed down very early into the pandemic. Look at this view, isn't it magnificent? Well, when the scaffolding's gone, but isn't this wonderful? they have seating and bars upstairs I think they are all open steakhouse and then you have this mailbox or the cube they call this have a look at this I nearly rented a flat in here they're very small the first part is for prize it 
uh, residence on the left and in inside rental but the first part of this area they're not allowed to rent to anyone and you have a famous restaurant on the top floor Marco Perrier White Steakhouse Bar and Grill very beautiful up there I think I went there about three or four years ago I seem to remember it was five pounds for half a lager so be warned <laughs> but it was you know, one off and very beautiful oh so yes and then you have which funny thing is I've never bothered to go down down here Penny Blacks it's really nice never ever gone downstairs lower ground and it's Miller and Carter bar and grill upstairs and sixes and on the end AC hotel so that's our journey guys wonderful walk up here to the university takes about 20 25 minutes Knowles here restaurant very nice inside Do not have a coffee and cake. Well, you, you might want a coffee and cake. It'll cost you 12 pounds <laughs> in Knoll, so not the best place to go. Cocoa there. There's a nice little coffee bar. And they have wonderful cakes and it's reasonably priced. So think about it, guys. I'm going to end the video here. And I will see you on our next journey. Goodbye.